This video will guide you to install MySQL on Windows Server 2016. You need Net Framework 4.5.2 for the installation. If you have an older version of the Net Framework, then update that in order to begin the installation process. Step 1. Download MySQL installer. You can search the web for MySQL download link, or use the link remark under the video. It is important to note that you must go to the official website to download, and then choose the appropriate version for your server and click download. Click no thanks, just start my download. Click run from the pop-up window at the bottom of your browser. Step 2. Set up MySQL installer. After the program in the previous step finished running, a new window will appear. Choose the predetermined setup type that matches your setup requirements. Here, we select server only for this tutorial. And then click next. Check requirements is to check if the required software for each product is installed on your server. For this tutorial, you have to install Microsoft Visual C++ 2019. Click execute. Click the checkbox to agree to the license agreement and click install. Step 3. Install MySQL server with MySQL installer. When you finish the installation, you will return to the MySQL installer and click next. Click execute to download MySQL server 8.0.32. Once the download is complete, click next, which will take you to install MySQL server. Click execute to install. Now you need to check that the status is completed to make sure the following steps can be continued easily. Once installation is complete, you are taken to the product configuration window. Click next. Choose the appropriate setting for your requirements and click next. From the authentication methods section, select the radio button for use strong password encryption for authentication and click next. Set your password and click next. This screen allows you to configure MySQL server as a Windows service and name the MySQL service. Make your selections and click next. Here, you can manage the permissions of files. Click finish on the apply configuration screen to apply all the settings and selections. This page indicates that you have completed all your configurations. Click next. You have now finished the full installation of MySQL. Let's try accessing MySQL server. Now you can work with MySQL. If you get the information you need, don't forget to give us a like and follow us. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment under the video and discuss with us.